Oh, right. Let's see. This is the first time I'm using OBS to record, so I'm not sure how... If everything is going through perfectly fine. But for today, we are going to be making a Filipino food tier list. On our tier list, we have Godly. Highly recommended. Some good shit. Is I? I don't know because... Honestly, I don't. I can't even tell half of these pictures. What, what half of these pictures are? Like this one looks like macaroni full of <laughs> Lucky Charms. With that said, let's begin. So I guess first on our very list, I think this is lugao. Lugao is like porridge. It's like oat milk but rice. I put that on. I highly recommend because that shit is really good. Put some egg on it. Boom. Let that egg cook in there. Oh, no, I don't know what this one is. So it's some type of pastry. I'm gonna put that on, I don't know. Oh, balot, yes. Balot, godly. Come on. If you are a true Filipino, you know what balot would be. Or if you don't know what balot is, I'd Google it. Google it. I can't, I don't, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Just Google it. It's some good shit. Um, uh, I, I believe this is Papa Ketchup. Yeah, this is ketchup. So, a little tidbit actually, I have never... It's not that I've never had half of these, but I rare Because of my situation, I've rarely had any of these. Like, long, a long, long time ago. Anyway, ketchup... It's I, uh, you know... Rice, ketchup, a little bit of salt, or Ajinamoto, um... MSG right there. Um, I don't know what this is though. Peanut, peanut brittle? I can't tell what it is. Um, this is some type of dessert. It's like, um, forgot what it's called. But it's some type of dessert. It, it's I. It's not my preference. Next on the list is, chi this, is ha this has to be chicharron. So, chicharron is like, um, deep fried pork skin so in the philippines when you're drinking with your friends you have your alcohol and what we call um what was it called pulutan pulutan is like the food that you can eat like nuts um chicharron with your beer whatever you drink uh this i can't tell what this one is holy cow there's some shrimp in there i think Let's put an I don't I don't know what that is. Chicken Joy, Chicken Joy. Highly recommend. Like Chicken Joy in the Philippines is just it's it hits different, you know? It's not the same here in America where you have to smell the 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 oil has to smell like fish. It's a weird thing, but trust me on this. I believe this is tilapia. I think I hope it's tilapia because of the, uh, it's some good shit, bro. Adobo, godly, of course, hands down. Adobo is adobo is like a an, uh, a Filipino staple. I think I said that right. Yeah, Filipino staple. Um, lumpia, lumpia. I'd highly recommend it. Lumpia is basic, but it's good. Um, oh my god, I don't I don't know what this is. Ah, uh, let's put it. I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, this is some type of um, pastry. I forgot what it's called, but it's pastry. You can put like apples in it or basically whatever fruit you you want. Um, oh no, I forgot what this thing was called, but some good shit too. Um, you can buy this from Goldilocks, I believe, or Red Ribbon. I think it was called Red Ribbon. But yeah, you can mostly buy this in gold locks, pop it in the microwave for like a couple of seconds, like 10 seconds to melt that cheese on top. It's like um a cinnamon it's like a cinnabon, but it's butter instead of chocolate with cheese. Ooh, spaghetti. Spaghetti in the Philippines is not like Italian spaghetti, where Italian spaghetti is a bit more sour. Filipino um Spaghetti is a little bit more sweet. Yeah, it's it's really sweet. So that's some good shit right there. 
This one just looks like Lucky Charm cereal. I don't know what this is. I'm really sorry. Um, I'm failing my ancestors right now. Um, this is a a, 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 a type of dessert. I would have a look. I've, I don't know what it's called, man. I was like really young when I've tried this. So I don't know what it's called, but it's still good. Halo Halo Godly. You have to high you have to be high to not want Halo Halo. Halo Halo is like shave ice, but it went through intense training and became whatever this is. It's a mixture it's a mixture of um Ube ice cream, sorbet sorbet sor sorbet sorbet ice cream, shaved ice. The bottom has some different colored gulama and different flavor of gulama and it's like gelatin. Minudo, highly recommend. I forgot what this- oh my god, I don't even know what the- uh, I forgot what this- but it's um, it's a creamy type of stew. It's some good shit though. Leche flan. Um... If I can remember, there was this um, Manang back in the Philippines that we used to live next to. She would make um, leche flan and she'd sell them for like three three pesos. Um, wait, I think I just remembered what this is. I think this bibinka. Okay, I think that's bibinka. I'm not sure. It looks like bibinka. But leche flan is like, I'm not really into the too much sweet. You know, that's a, that's, that's a personal thing. That's like my thing, you know. Lechon. Some good shit. You can also have lechon for like pulutan when you're drinking with your friends. Longanisa, it's the same thing. It's not something that you can have in a pulutan or when you're drinking. But it's still some good shit. It's like sausage. Or like sweet sausage. Um... This one, I don't know what this is. Wait, this could be Bibinka and this could be Malagkit. Oh, uh, ooh. I don't know, man. Uh, oh, but I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. Um, this is Palabok. Palabok Godly. It, um, you have, Sometimes in your life, you gotta try some things, right? So you gotta find yourself a Filipino person or a Filipino friend that can cook and ask him to make you any of these. And trust me, it'll taste amazing. As long as they can cook. Um, Pansit. Pansit is some good shit. You can also have that for... For, um... For pulutan when you're drinking with your friends or mostly in parties. Um, sorbet. I think we call it sorbet here in America, but in the Philippines we call it sorbet or sor sorbetes. Uh, it's some I. It's I. I'm not really into sweets, honestly. It's I. And I believe this is pandesal. Highly recommend. It's it's simple bread. But it's pandesal bread. Um, back in the Philippines when I was still younger, me, one of my brothers or my my cousin, we would wake up like four or five in the morning and go to the. I think it was. I'm not sure if it's still it's still a business, but we would go to Tinapay King. Tinapay means bread. And we would buy like a dozen, a dozen pandesals, and everybody in the family would share them, or everybody around the table would share them. Um, I think this is pinakbet. Pinakbet is um a mixture of different vegetables. You have okra, you have bitter melons, you have um, what is it um. Kalabasa, yeah, you have kalabasa. It's some good shit. Then you you add in your um shrimp paste or bagoong. Puto, highly recommend. You you need to have a, at least one puto in your life. And no, it's not the other word that 
if you're a Filipino and you're watching this, it's not that, or if you're not Filipino, but you have a lot of Hispanic friends, no, it is not that word. Puto is something else. It's some good shit. Um, this one would highly recommend Shopao. Yeah, it's Shopao because Shomai is the wrap. So Shopao is um, it's like a steam bun, but Filipino version. Uh, this one, what is this? I don't know what this thing is. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I probably had some of these already, but I can't, I don't know what it is. Um, you know, you know what though? I'm kind of, I'm kind of surprised. I think this is, um, Sinigang actually. Because if it is, it's still some good shit. I'd even put it to maybe highly recommend it if it is Sinigang. It looks like it because there's soup and vegetables. So the vegetables that goes in a in a sinigang is like water water lilies no not water lilies but they're called kang kong. Uh, I think this is sinigang because you can also you can also make sinigang isda but you don't usually fry the fish when you make sinigang isda isda is fish. Um, tinola highly recommend. You're not feeling well. You're feeling sick. But Tinola is like chicken noodle soup, but better. Um, this is barbecue, I believe. Is I, right. if I can remember, Filipino barbecue is really good. But is I, right. you can also have that like with your chicharon, you know, when you're have your, when you're drinking with your friends. It could be like a polutan thing. Tortang talong. I forgot what it's called here in America, but tortang talong is um, basically you boil your eggplants, then you peel the skin off, then you cook it with eggs, then you put seasoning in it, like you salt, pepper, um, whatever you want in it. But that's what tortang talong is. This one. Oh no, I know what this is. It's a bun it's a it's like a dessert thing. Um banana Q? No. Yeah, it's called banana Q. But there's another there's another name for it. I forgot what it was called. Damn it, I am disappointing my ancestors right now. Um So basically what you do with this, you can make it two ways. You marinate the banana in rock sugar I believe or just sugar in general then you deep fry it or you slice it up put in um, a lumpia wrap then you deep fry it it's really it's sweet but not that sweet so I'd highly put I'd put in highly recommended ube ube a must you can you can't go wrong with ube ube is ice cream man like it's just amazing Anyway, that's it for my tier list. Hopefully, hopefully I don't wage war against people. For these ones, they're great, but don't get me wrong. The is I tier list is just I'm just not into sweets. I I think this is um malaki. This one, I mean it's cat. This one is just ketchup. Like come on. This was ice cream. This is barbecue, man. So hopefully I don't offend anybody who likes this. Like they're good, they're good. Just not for me, you know? Like this is I, is I. So the good some good shit list. These are some things that you have to try at least once. Highly recommended. Recommended recommended. You know. Come on, it's common sense. Godly food you actually have to try. And I, I can guarantee you, you will like it. Except maybe for balot. Balot, you have to look it up in Google. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not going to explain to you what balot is. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully, I don't offend too many people. Peace.